a full day of soccer. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. The first great Southwestern soccer shootoff kicked off today with teams across the desert Southwest facing off at Kofa and Cibola High Schools. The tournament featured Cibola, Kofa, San Luis, Yuma Catholic, Imperial Calexico, Palo Verde, Holtville, Yuma, Gila Ridge, Southwest, and Vincent Memorial. Here's Alfred Barriman finding some space outside the box and slotting it into the bottom corner to help the Bulldogs to a 4-1 victory over Palo Verde. We had our goal of the day coming from Cibola, and that's Lillian Cam's free kick into the net to help the Lady Raiders to a 3-1 victory over Holtville. And how about the strength from Imperials, Gemina, Valvodivinos, to wail off the defender and slot this one into the near post. That goal capped off a 4-0 victory for the Tigers over San Luis. Now in our nightcap game at Kofa, the Kings faced off against the Calexico Bulldogs. First half, there'll be an early chance for Calexico off the corner. We got a shot, but that goes off the post. One clearance attempts, second opportunity to clear. The Kings get it away, but another one goes missing. Later in the half, Alfred Bruman chopping it onto her left foot, has a shot, but how about Nicole Morales with the save there to push it wide? Kofa's Arlene Meza scored four goals in the first match. Here she is on the turn. How about the step over here? Dances by one defender, make it two defenders. Can she get by a third? Uh, no, she cannot. She would, though, later have a chance to go at goal from a direct free kick, but that one sails over and off of the football crossbar. Frustrating first half for both sides. However, the Bulldogs would turn it on in the second half, scoring three times to take this one 3-0. Over to Cibola High School, where the tourney continued. The Gila Ridge Hawks taking on the Southwest Eagles in a battle of the birds. First half, the Hawks are going to take this corner, Piper Liska on it, and guys, she's going to go directly for goal with the Olympico over the goalkeeper's head and into the net. That shot goes in straight from the corner, and that ties it at one goal apiece. With under 10 minutes to go, Liska on the corner once again. She's going to fire across into the box, and Malini Vega is there to head it home to give the Hawks a 2-1 to lead. That will be the score at the half, but in the start of the second, Isabella Romo with the shot, and it squeaks under the goalkeeper to tie it at two goals apiece. Then a few minutes later, Chayton Barron with a nice touch into the box towards Vega. Vega on her left foot with the shot near post over the goalkeeper's head. That gives a Haw the Hawks a 3-2 lead. Gila Ridge would add one more and take this one 4-2. For scores of all the games, visit our website at kyma.com slash sports. Kofa Boys basketball started off the season hot at 3-0, and tonight they welcomed in Willow Canyon to Rios Gym. Second quarter, Kofa behind big. Javen Wynn floats one up. No good, but he's going to get his own rebound. Dish it inside to Calvin Barber, who finishes that one at the rim. Later in the corner, Barber is going to pull up from three. That's going to be short for an air ball. Khalil Kelly heaves that one up court to Austin Cooper, who's there to lay it up and in for Willow Canyon. A few possessions later, win with the spin. Floats it up and in, and one. He'd knock down the free throw as well. End of the half, Kelly to Cooper for a three. That's nothing but net. Tough night for the Kings. They dropped their first game of the year, 79-41. to The Imperial Classic Boys Basketball Tournament continues tonight and this weekend out in Imperial. I'll recap that on Monday. Also, a little bit of soccer action from over the weekend on Monday. But for now, that's all we got time for in sports.